Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for All with Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. And for the Virgos, I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is a wonderful week. It is a week of Halloween. It is the first week of November 2017. And the week begins from a week begins from the um, 30th of October until the 5th of November. <clears throat> okay you are a hurt person and the energy vibration of this week is the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune has the zodiac energy of water now as I look at your week because it's Halloween I'm using the zombie Torah card and what is happening for you guys in this week is that there is a lot of changes changes transformation new birth new things a celebration um, there is going to be a celebration there's going to be wonderful things the eight of ones a lot of messages will be coming in um, the sword the ten of swords whatever that is don't worry about your week because you have the nine of Pentacles and the energy of the nine of Pentacles is a wonderful energy because this sorry card deck and this nine of Pentacles in a week like this it's a wonderful loving week because when we look at this week and we understand we focus on the good things in our life we see that we change the energy vibration of whatever that is happening in our lives so this is going to be good because the nine of Pentacles is always good nine of Pentacles is that your financial balance and financial situation in your life is coming through so this is going to be good it doesn't really matter how you feel when things are not going to happen it's going to be good it's prosperity it's independence and it's confidence okay so, so some people will be receiving prosperity some people will in um, receiving um, confidence and some people will be um, gaining back their independence so in whatever way you look at it and then you have uh, um, the nine of cups that is uh, your um that is govern your week so it's all about your wishes and dreams coming through <clears throat> as we look at this week there's um three major arcana you have the emperor you have the eye prince cess and you have the energy of death and transformation which is a rebirth the energies that you have is a ten of swords that um you know <clears throat> Um, whatever the situation that is playing out it can be that you know someone who is from your work is trying to stab you in the back or that sort of a thing let's look and see what is going on ten of sword twice four of cups so number ten is going ten of Pentacles and your wishes and dreams are coming true five of wands and the prince of swords be aware of this person and justice against the prince of swords so this is good you're finally finally seeing a situation you are finally finally seeing a situation for what is is and what is playing out see you're finally finally seeing a situation for what it is because you have the nine of Pentacles and your and the two of swords you're seeing a situation okay so you have three times ten three times ten and that is the three ones three times ten so I've said to the earth signs use the triangle this is the triangle it is bringing balance in your life you can make triangle like this it's bring a balance in your life you have three times ten and this is good because what is happening is that whatever the situation is that is playing out you are going to have a positive situation so let's look at this and let's really think about what is happening we have the energy of um, the air event and the the, the the, the the emperor the emperor has to do with because it's a major arcana which it always has to do with situation that has to do with your work okay 
So the emperor is a leadership control, um, order out of the chaos, order out of the chaos. And this is how I like to look at the, you know, view everything or obstacles as challenges. The emperor uses logic and common sense to, you know, clear up whatever that has been happening. And you see a ruin, a Ten of Swords, because you have the Ten of Swords like twice. Um, you see a ruin, and but uh, the, the ruin is going to bring you um, something positive because this ruin is going to make something positive comes in your life. This is how you're seeing it. You're being stabbed in the back and that sort of a thing. But that brewing is going to bring you something positive in your life. As we look at Tuesday, we have another ten of um, swords, and we have the four of cups. Um, discipline. You need to have discipline in your life. Whatever is going on, Happy Halloween. You need to have discipline. It is so. It says you're gutting your own self. You need to have discipline, and you need to have a, a really, really positive sense of being in your life because you you know it's as if you're gutting yourself so have discipline in some things these two together is wonderful this is the crown of your week you Virgos. you have the nine of cups and you have protection the ten of pentacles so whatever is happening you in this week this week is going to be a powerful week that your wishes and dreams are coming true but you are having also protection in this week the nine of pentacles so your financial situation is going to be good whatever you were dreaming of healing your financial situation it's going to happen on Thursday you have the three of cups which is another wonderful energy so you have the princess of wands the three of cups is a very very positive energy so the three of cups is working together with other people and you have the th the um, pr the princess of wands and the energy of the princess of one is someone who is a, a ra um, an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius and there is a very good connection with you and this person and it's going to be extremely good because this person really likes you and care about you now you have the eight of wands the eight of wands is information that is coming at you confusing information conflicts conflicting information that is coming at you but that's okay and here we are we have the energy vibration of the high princess with the prince of sword so on Saturday, you're going to have a situation with the Eye Princess and the Prince of Sword. Whoever you are, learn and understand that these people come in your life for a reason. And this king, this Prince of Sword is someone between the ages of 18 and 40. And this person, be aware of this person and his words. And listen to your intuition because your intuition will guide you as how to deal with this person. There's a debt and transformation. There's a debt of transformation. And these whatever that was happening, there's going to be a rebirth and a healing of a situation. This rebirth and healing of a situation is going to help your financial situation to become very balanced. Okay? So let's look at your week. As we say, um, you have the nine of pentacles which is very wonderful very um, positive this nine of pentacles but yet still you're seeing clearly certain situation that has been happening it is people who have been having hidden agendas all the people who have been having hidden agendas it's coming out now as we look at Monday and the first part of a week Monday Tuesday the first part of a week we are seeing that you feel as if you're ruined and you or feeling as if you're out of balance you need to find discipline in your life whatever the situation is you need to find discipline in your life the I princess is here and she or he or whoever your spirit guides are which is feminine deities because obviously it is the energy of a feminine deity that is coming in to, to bring you and teach you discipline and protect you as we look at the second week we have the number three energies and that is with a celebration with the princess of ones 
whoever that princess of once is she's coming back in your life she's having connection with you and um, whatever that was injustice the whatever that play injustice against you there's a debt and transformation you have the energy vibration of the eight and the eight of ones you have information coming at you and you have um, it's like conflicts because the five of one is always the energy of conflict so there are a situation that is happening around you but yet still both of your week especially the, the the last half of your week it's going to be good because it's a connection of you connecting with someone else and trying to you know bring certain balance and certain aspect and certain things in your life okay be aware I'm getting um, this information that be aware of this person um, this uh, um, Aries Leo or um, Aries Leo or um, Sagittarius person that is coming back in your life be aware of them remember what they did the reason why you remove them out of your life no matter what they come back with as if you know I'm sorry about this and that mm, yeah but remember the reason why you remove them out of your life and if it's because of something that you weren't trusting um, do not open up your life back for this person okay it's gonna be a positive week for you guys because you have the nine of cups the nine of cups is a very extremely positive energy nine of cups is that your wishes and dreams are coming true this is a lucky week because you have the ten of Pentacles and with this situation ten of Pentacles is a very uh, positive positive energy and the ten of Pentacles and, and the energy of Pentacles and you are a Virgo so you have the vibrational energy money should not be you know a, a problem for you earth signs because you manifest whatever you send out there so when we look at this and we're trying to understand what exactly is happening to you you're going to realize that but a nine of Pentacles it is the inner theme of you feeling um, financial secure okay it is always about spinning the wheel the ten of Pentacles is the web of money enlightenment and that sort of a thing so it's as if money that was out or uh, the universe is going to uh, make your wishes come true buy a lottery you need to buy the lottery in this week because your angels and guides are going to make your dreams come true buy a lottery in this week and you are going to see it's as if your angels and guides are going to orchestrate something that is going to help you and to bring you at a positive place in your life so this is going to be extremely good um whatever is happening there's a transformation that is coming in this transformation is coming in because of justice because of something that was unjustly um uh, that has unjustly happened um there is a scent of um situations coming in okay so this is good do not think loss loss what is happening to you Virgos there is loss wow wow loss okay you Virgos are having lust over lust of the flesh lust of food lust of something else than what you have there is the energy vibration of lust coming in so hmm, whatever is happening because there is obviously a situation with um, the eye princess with yourself with your spirit guides and it's as if someone who is an um, Aquarius and a Gemini or a Libra is actually you know sending you a harsh words and 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 you are standing there and you're really looking at it and you're really wondering you're really like no you know which is so good and this is um very positive whatever the situation is um and you have a loss of the flesh you virgos um you're lusting after someone who do not have that sort of a same um 
attraction to you someone who doesn't have the time for the loss and that sort of a thing so you know you need to get yourself in check because obviously you're going to get upset because this person is not feeling the same way about you that you want them to feel about you but you need to understand is that um, what you're feeling is loss and this person can realize that this is not true love this is not what I'm looking for I am not attracted to this person so you can't you can't um, you know um, want to give people and think that oh I can manipulate someone in feeling um, the way I am because you're feeling lost and you know why you want to um, uh, connect to this person because there's obviously something that this person has that you want so you know and this person is seeing you and this person knows exactly what is plain so this person is standing back because this person have absolutely no interest in to get in such a situation so they are standing back so you have loss of the flesh and some and the person you're trying to connect with is having you off and holding you off because that's not where they are this person is, is vibrating at a total higher energy and you're vibrating at a lower energy because you're having loss of the body so the energy of loss is that my dear quite when the symbol of lust has come before you be aware that when you toy with the energy you may become continued or consumed by it so that is another thing that people should understand lust is something that is lust is something as if you are um lust when you have lust is as if um you're on a drugs you know um it keeps you it holds you um because um you have loss of the flesh it is not really love it is not really true love and and, and that holds you so whatever you do you need to understand you really need to understand what you're doing because uh, um, obviously this person who you have the loss of the flesh for isn't having the same um, energy vibration that to connect with you okay um, I'm moving on I don't want to really get in this sort of energy vibration because obviously um, whoever you are out there you have to be aware um, that not everyone likes that sort of a thing it can turns off people while some people likes it some people don't like it you need to understand who is the person obviously you're not vibrating in the same energy vibration of that person otherwise you will know that they are not attracted to that sort of an energy okay you have the color orange and um, purple orange and purple thinking different thoughts than you have ever thought before is the only part to answering healing new genes or anything that gabbles okay and you know how good you look in the new genes so this is wonderful this is a very smart message if people do understand what this message is saying is that everything you do in your life is actually a gamble okay you can buy new jeans but you never know how you're going to look in it just like the energy of lust you're lusting after someone but you're not aware of what will be the, the trans the the, um, um, the connection with that person because you can be lusting after someone and you go and you're with the person and you realize that the loss that you are feeling is not really what is really um, you know being there feeling you're going to see and it's you know it's going to be something that the person who you're lusting after and all of that and all of that um, it's a turn off for the person because they thought that they that you would have bring something to the table which is not really bringing something to the table and honestly people I hate people who lust <laughs> I'm sorry but I, 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 I just can't vibrate with the energy vibration of someone who lusts. I, 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 I don't understand I don't want to understand because I don't see the reason why I 
would sit waste my time to loss over someone else no it's just me it's just my but anyway for the rest this is going to be a positive week the nine of Pentacles um, the nine of your wishes and dreams are coming true, so it's going to be a wonderful, powerful week. Um, and some people are going to, um, in connection with someone who is the Princess of Wands, you're going to go out with this person. You are going to be connected with that person on Thursday. Um, whatever the situation is, a lot of you are going to have conflicts on Friday. Whatever is taking place. Monday you feel as if you're you're ruined but that's not it Sunday there's going to be a transformation which is good whatever the situation is or was you're going to realize that certain things and certain aspect is about to change and this is going to be good I want to say thank you for being here and namaste until next time